everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's Declutter and Organize video, I am sharing with you my budget-friendly closet transformation and clothing purge. If you are new here, I hope you will subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So our beautiful closet transformation came from necessity. Although my master bedroom closet had always been organized, last month our closet basically completely collapsed from the weight of probably mostly my wardrobe. So in my defense, this closet had those wire shelves that are not very strong and we have slowly been trying to replace them throughout the house. We did our research and we knew that we could not afford a custom closet so we set out to build one on our own. To help us along the way, we chose pieces from Closet Made that we purchased at both Home Depot and Wayfair. All the links to all the products that we used for this project will be found in detail in the information bar down below. It was important to us to utilize as best we could the space that we have and to fit our whole wardrobe into this closet. Before we could get started, I knew we would have to completely empty it. To be sure that everything would fit comfortably, I knew that I was going to have to reduce my wardrobe significantly. So I piled everything up in an empty bedroom and I have to admit I was completely overwhelmed by the job of trying to reduce my wardrobe by at least a third. So I started by asking myself three basic questions with each piece of clothing. Does it fit? Do I love it? And do I wear it? If I could honestly answer yes to all of these questions, that garment was a keeper. If not, and if the clothing was in great shape, it was donated. This process basically took me forever to accomplish and it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I ended up going through everything at least twice, but I knew that I probably ended up reducing my wardrobe by almost half. The things I kept are the things that I really love and the things that I wear. And I know that what I donated will go to someone who will put it to good use. As the donation pile started to add up, I began to feel better about letting things go. In the end, I was able to donate about six bags of clothing, a bag full of hangers, and storage containers. As I was dealing with purging our wardrobe, my hubby had gotten started on the closet. We were so happy to say goodbye to those wire shelves and railings, and we pulled up the carpet to lay a beautiful pergo floor that we picked out at Home Depot. Once that was completed, he started assembling the closet made systems that we had purchased from Wayfair and Home Depot. We were also installing a few cube organizers that we had found at Target, and all the links to the products that we use will be listed in the information section down below. We decided to paint the walls a very simple white that would keep this closet clean and bright. As all the organizing pieces were installed, the closet really started to come together. I think my favorite part is the cube storage system he installed on my side of the closet. Not only is it a great use of space, but it will hold all of my t-shirts, pajama pants, shoes, and sweatshirts. For the cube storage system, I found these gray and white threshold storage bins from Target. I also got the clip-on Room Essential labels. I just used my Dymo label maker to create tags for each bin. It just makes organizing everything so much easier. I will be sure to put links to both of these down below. I would say this project took us about a good month to complete. With it finally done, we were able to move all of our clothes back into the closet and I am happy to say that everything fit perfectly with just a little extra space to grow. The left side of the closet is my husband's side and he has his long sleeve shirts and his dress pants hung up and next to that is one of those tall organizational units by Closet Made that holds all of his shoes and accessories. All along the very top, my husband installed these shelves to hold my Reason Thaw storage bins. These are the bins that hold a lot of our family memorabilia, out of season clothing, and even one of them holds my wedding dress. This middle closet made piece serves as a great divider between our two sides and the drawers and the cabinet give us storage space for like our everyday clothes, our t-shirts, jeans, and socks. 
As I said, one of my very favorite parts of this closet project are these storage cubes. I really think this is such a great use of this space and these bins really can hold a lot of clothes. And using the labels really help keep everything in the right place. I did have to go out and buy a new three-step ladder to keep here in the closet to help me reach those bins on the very top. So if you try a storage system like this, be sure to secure each of the individual sets of cubes to the wall to help keep it all safe and secure. One of those things that we did that I think had the most impact was removing those bifold closet doors and adding two new larger ones. I have never really been a fan of bifold doors and these new ones really give a slicker look and provide some extra space to hang hooks. So in the end, I really love my new closet. I think that not only is it beautiful, it is very functional for us, and it gave me the opportunity to go through all of our clothes and purge the ones that we no longer used. In the information bar below, there is a link to my wardrobe purge checklist to help you along the way of going through your own clothes and donating the pieces that no longer suit you. I will link down below as many of the products that we used in this project as I can. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have and I will see you again soon. Bye.